But what does the man who started the Peace Corps think about it now? The willingness of all Americans, men and women, young and old, to serve in the Peace Corps, to serve in all parts of the world, to serve at little pay, to do jobs that uh, most of them have never done before, is one of the most encouraging manifestations of the American spirit that this country has seen in many years. The Peace Corps gives us a chance to show a side of our country which is too often submerged. Our desire to live in peace. Our desire to be of help. Today, hope endures. In fact, it's as strong as it was when we started our journey in 1961. Maybe even stronger. Every day, Peace Corps volunteers and all of us who support them wake up and spend the day working hard to make the world a better place. The larger causes we serve are the farmers in Panama, businesswomen in Albania, students in Rwanda, environmentalists in Jamaica, healthcare workers in South Africa. Our work is manifested in them and the thousands and thousands of others we'll never meet. It's a two-way street or more accurately with Peace Corps, a two-way dirt road or footpath. And that volunteers venture to far-flung corners of the world and bring back to the United States after they serve more knowledge of, compassion for, and ability to ensure peace. They live it, promote it, and never stop sharing it. Peace. It's the first word of who we are. That our mission and goals haven't changed in nearly 60 years is rare, and so are we. The peace and freedom President Kennedy harnessed then continues now. That spirit still sparks our service. Who are we? We're the Peace Corps. I hope this spirit will grow, that hundreds of others of young Americans and older Americans to go overseas to show our best side, to show how much we desire to live at peace. There can be no greater service to our country and no source of pride more real than to be a member of the Peace Corps of the United States. I hope that you will join. <laughs>